Hello, what can I get you? I'll have 62 hot dogs. Say what? That's one more than last year's winner ate. Well, not this year. Soon you'll be calling me Mr. Wiener. I already call you that, and a lot worse. How about you, Perky? Uh-oh, I'm not eating. Wow, that's one thing I thought I'd never hear you say. I'm a little bit too nervous. You meet my girlfriend's coming to town. Okay, now that's two things I thought I'd never hear you say. Give me a job application. Name, address, gender. What is this, Soviet Russia? Yeah, I don't want to work here anyway. Not in that stupid uniform. I'll take a banana split. Oh, one scoop vanilla, one scoop chocolate, one scoop strawberry. Oh, put the strawberry in the middle. And now hot fudge. Oh, only on the vanilla and chocolate. Put regular fudge on the strawberry. Now some whipped cream. Hey, 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 easy. Little more, little more, little more only on the vanilla. Kind of fill in that space right there. Stop. Now some nuts. Oh, no nut dust. Now this is the complicated part. No green sprinkles on the chocolate. Yes, green sprinkles on the strawberry. But both no red sprinkles, except on the vanilla, which should receive exclusively red sprinkles. That'll be five eighty-five. I've only got sixteen cents. Get the rest from your tip jar. <laughs> Meh. Watch up, neighbor. Whoa. Ugh. Back to two D. What a bummer. Can I talk to you for a second? It's my son, Gossamer. He's having some trouble fitting in his school. All the kids pick on him and call him a monster. Duh, he is a monster. I try to help him, but he's at that age where he doesn't want to listen to his mama. The other day, he called me a witch. You are a witch. Do you need to be doing that right now? Protein shake. It's how I maintain this body. Anyway, Gossip needs help making friends. Now, I think he could benefit from a positive male role model. Could you take him to school tomorrow and maybe talk to him? You want Bugs to talk to him? He doesn't know the first thing about making friends. He was born with friends. He's got too many friends. The only person who can help a weirdo like Gossamer is another weirdo. That's a great idea. You can take him to school tomorrow. What? No. Find another weirdo. No one helped me out when I was a kid, so I'm not helping him out. You know, I'm not always a nice witch. I know everything about you. Hit me with some questions. Go ahead. All right, what's my favorite color? Pass. What time do I go to bed at night? Pass. Give me something easy. Fine. When's my birthday? January, February, September, December, July, July, July 1st, July 2nd, July 3rd, July 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 27th, July 27th! Well, happy extremely belated birthday, or... Happy extremely early birthday. <laughs> hey, Speedy. Hola, Bugs. You said you took care of the rat problem. I'm not a rat. I'm a mouse. <laughs> you don't know anything about me. I bet if you look self-absorbed up in the dictionary, you'd find your picture. My picture's in the dictionary? Is it a good one? What am I wearing? Does my beak look big? Aha! Gotcha! This is hopeless. Whoa, that's a lot of hot dogs. How can someone eat that many? Uh, wait, what's the most you've ever eaten? I don't know, four, four and a half. Any more than that, they start coming back up, if you know what I mean. Unfortunately, we always know what you mean. Well, here goes nothing. 
How many was that? Four. Oh. Well, maybe I could do another half. Uh. It's coming back up! It's coming back up! How's it coming in there? I did it. I invented something so spectacular that every man, woman, and child will wonder how they ever survived without it. You know when you want bread, but you don't want the whole loaf? I call it Daffy Duck's Equally Sized Bread Pieces. The rest of the world calls it sliced bread. I don't want them thinking any of my customers. I'm gonna eat all your profits. Bad business moves, Speedy. Except for him. They can have him. Come on, Bugs, check it out! And don't think I'm not coming back for seconds. And thirds! And fourths! And fifths! <laughs> okay, we got the pepperoni, we got the sausage, we got the classic cheese, some carrots, <laughs> We got the... Ooh. Good thing you're not the health department. <laughs> Yes! Five hot dogs! And they're staying down. They better. Well, all I have to do now is figure out how I'm gonna cram 57 more down my gullet. I gotta stretch this dude out. I can't believe you're doing all this for a stupid satin jacket and so people can call you Mr. Wiener. Well, truth be told, there's another reason. It's my legacy. It all started with my great-grandfather, Dipsy Duck. He ate 54 huckleberry pies in a pie-eating contest and won a horse-drawn carriage. Then there was my grandfather, Doofus Duck. He ate 112 corn cobs in a corn cob-eating contest and won a Model T. And then there was my father, Dummy Duck. He ate 14 buckets of fried chicken in a fried chicken-eating contest and won a school bus. He still drives it to this day. Now do you understand why I have to win? Do any of the guys in your family have normal names? Like David or Doug? I have a cousin named Dimwit Duck. Look, Tina, the point is, I have to win so I don't go down in history as the only duck who didn't win a contest by gorging himself on carnival food. And also, I really want that satin jacket. Oh. It's coming back up! Can I get you anything to start? I'll, I'll have, have the, the carrot, carrot soup. soup. Oh! <laughs> Two carrot soups. And try not to mix up our orders. Oh! <laughs> oh. I'd hate to jinx it, but this date is off to a pretty good start. <laughs> you look very pretty. I like your hair. Oh, thanks. They're my ears, so... How long have you been playing tennis? My whole life. It's kind of my passion. Oh, sorry. That's my phone. Sorry. A lot of stuff in here. Makeup, keys, rubber band ball, stick of cards, stapler, flashlight, mini fan. I like to record my thoughts. Note to self, clean out your purse. Oh, here it is. Oh, hello? Hi. Oh, nothing. I'm just on a date with a really cute guy. He's sitting across from me right now. He's totally looking at me. Oh, no, wait. Now he's looking down. Now he's looking around. Oh, nope. He's looking at me again. <laughs> oh, I better go. Okay, call me later. Okay, bye. Friend of yours? Nope. Wrong number. Oh, is there butter in this? I'm not supposed to have butter. I'm allergic to butter. Oh, no, wait. It's gluten, not butter. I'm allergic to gluten. No, wait, not gluten. Pollen. Oh, no, wait. I love pollen. Is there pollen in this? Can I get some pollen in this? You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't really want carrot soup. Actually, maybe just one little taste. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, maybe just one more. Mm. Oh, one more. Mm. 
Just one more. Mm. Mm. You can really taste the pollen. Are you gonna eat yours? So what do you have planned for after dinner? How about a movie? We'll just sit together, watch a movie, mm. and not talk. That'll be nice. Mm. 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 This is so good. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not allergic to butter. Do you like this movie? I love this movie. Oh, it's so sad. But like uplifting too. It's like a feel-good movie. A sad feel-good movie. It's funny also. And scary. Oh! Oh, this is the best part. Oh, no, wait, this is the worst part. Oh, I hate this part. Oh, I have to pee. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Watch, watch your leg. Excuse me. Oh, I love this part. Oh, excuse me. No, sorry. Going back. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> wow. That was a good movie. Wait, I thought you got the cheeseburger. Eh, cottage cheese will be fine. Try something new. Who knows, maybe I'll like it. Mmm, -hmm. mm, not as cheesy as you'd think. Very cottagey, though. Okay, let me give you a scenario. Oh, it's so sweet, thank you. I feel bad, though, I don't have anything to give you. Here, take my cottage cheese, I insist. Well, one more quick, huge bite. No, a scenario. I'm gonna describe a situation at work. You tell me how you would handle it. Ooh, fun. Okay, imagine some customer comes up to you at the counter. Uh, who is it? Who is what? The customer. I don't know, it doesn't matter, just pick someone. Okay, I've got him. All right, so this customer's in a hurry, but you're already busy doing a bunch of other stuff. I'm sorry, where do I work again? Copy place. Right, got it. So you tell him to wait a minute, but he keeps ringing the bell, saying, Miss, Miss, Miss. Well, hello there, customer. Can I help you? That depends. What are you doing for the rest of your life? Well, kind of thought I was going to work here until I figured out what I really wanted to do. Or maybe I'll go back to college. Forget all that. Marry me. <gasps> Customer. Say yes. Yes, yes, I'll be Mrs. Customer. Lola. Huh? What would you do with that customer? I'd drop everything and do whatever he said. He's my customer, and my customer is my world. Wow. I think I've got the wrong personality for customer service. You know, maybe just one more teeny huge bite. Hey, uh, Speedy, give me all your churros. Are you crazy? I kind of stretch my stomach, but the idea of eating another hot dog makes me sick, and in two hours, I gotta eat 62 of them. There's no way you're gonna win, man. Have you seen last year's wiener? Oof, he looks like he could eat 62 of you. Mother. Hey, look, there's a fortune teller. You know, I invented that. Ooh, I better get home. They're delivering my massage chair. Hey, get your automatic carrot peeler. Excuse me, darling. May I interest you in an automatic carrot peeler? I already have a carrot peeler. It works great. Aha, but with my machine, you could peel carrots at super speed, leaving more time for you and your beautiful daughter. He's a boy. Yes, of course, a strapping masculine boy. You know, my machine peels hundreds of carrots in mere seconds. Who wants hundreds of carrots? I'm not a rabbit. Your son looks like a girl! Is that what I think it is? Did you steal my plans for the automatic carrot peeler? <laughs> Let me explain. I, I was young. I needed the money. It's the worst profession since the Great Depression. Besides, you weren't using it. That's because it's a dumb invention. No one but me eats enough carrots to justify the cost of this thing. <laughs> You should have gone with butt paper. He's right. No one eats carrots. Everyone is eating carrots. A new study came out today touting their extraordinary health benefits. Oh, the automatic carrot peeler is flying off the shelves. I'm not even going to carry the old peeler anymore. You heard it here, folks. Time to toss that old carrot peeler and get the automatic carrot peeler. That doesn't sound like it's going to be good for my checking account. 
Abel, uh, where's Daffy? He's helping our neighbors, kid. <laughs> Try it. We already got our pizza. No. Try this one. Well? I like it. This one's frozen. Hey, boy, uh, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive? It's very impressive. Let me tell you something, Pinky. Uh, it's Porky. I'd like to see you make restaurant-quality frozen pizza. You couldn't. You know why? Because it's next to impossible. But I did it. And now I'm going to sell Speedy Gonzalez's frozen pizzas in grocery stores all across the country! What are they doing? I'm filming the commercial later today. Hey, you should be in it. Nah. Come on, you can play the customer. Uh, I, I don't... I could play the, the, the customer. Pinky, please. I'm talking to Senor Bugs. What do you say? Will you be in my frozen pizza commercial? Yeah, I'd love to do it. Yeah, just let Porky do it. Can I at least use your slogan? What slogan? I like it. When did I say that? When you tried the pizza. It's the perfect slogan. Not too much, not too little. I don't love it. I like it. It's pizza, man. It's not a new car. Whatever. Oh, yippee! <laughs> Relax, Pinky, okay? It's a commercial, not a movie. But go see the makeup girl. You, you, you're just so pink. I guess that's where he gets his name. I think Madame Zoldar might be crazy. There's no way my stomach's big enough to eat all these. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 35th Annual Mr. Wiener Hot Dog Eating Contest. Uh, that satin jacket is mine. On your mark, get set, go! Beep, beep. Oh my gosh, we got into a car wreck. <laughs> now we have to exchange information. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, you like bread? How crazy is that? I like bread. Oh, we're like soulmates. I, I just remembered I'm late for that thing. He likes milk too? Oh, this is getting scary. <laughs> we both like milk. Do you want restaurant quality pizza in the comfort of your own home? Hello. I'm Speedy Gonzalez of Speedy Gonzalez's Pizza Riva, telling you that you can now enjoy my pizza in a frozen variety. But don't take my word for it. He's a real life customer. Ahem. What do you think, sir? I, I like it. God! Pinky, you you're overselling it. I told you you could be in the commercial, but you, you gotta pull back. You gotta play real. Let's take it again. What did you think, sir? I, I like it. Nope, it's not working. Senor Bugs, let me hear you say it again. I like it. That's it, perfect. Sorry, Pinky. There's just something about him, a likability factor. I mean, this guy's okay, but I wanna party with this guy. Let's take it again. Hey, Pinky, I'm sorry. Scooch to your left a little bit. Little more, little more. Little more, little more, little more, little more, little more. How's this? Perfecto. I'm telling you, they're the greatest things in the world. Even if the Daffy's piano playing's that bad, huh? They don't just work on Daffy. They work on all sorts of annoying people. I had a 10-minute conversation with Yosemite Sam, and I didn't have to listen to a word of it. Isn't that able to be a little rude? No way. I was more rude before I got these. You know what it's like talking to me. I'm always rolling my eyes, saying something sarcastic. Not anymore. Now I just pop these babies in. Can't people tell? Nah, I just nod a lot. You know, throw in a few uh -huhs, And when it looks like they're wrapping it up, uh, you know, I just say, I know what you mean. I'm actually a pretty great listener, as long as I don't have to hear what anyone's saying. Have you uh, ever used those things on me? What? No. So... Yesterday, when I was telling you about that recurring dream I've been having, you were listening? To every word. Phew. Uh, okay, good. Because I had it again last night. It's the, it's the strangest thing. It's like I'm in my house, but I'm in, not in my house. And it's like everything's in a black and white. And I can smell someone making breakfast. Like a buttered toast. 
but then I go into the kitchen, and, and, and no one's there. Uh-huh. I mean, I feel like the dream has something to do with my mother. Oh, or maybe my sister. Whatever the case, it's very unsettling. I know what you mean. Thanks, Bugs. You gonna eat that? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> Sorry. We have a winner! Uh... Daffy Duck! I told them not to enter that hot dog eating contest. I told them. A time machine. <gasps> I'll go get my suitcase. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no green sprinkles on the chocolate. Yes, green sprinkles on the strawberry. But both no red sprinkles, except on the vanilla which should receive exclusively red sprinkles. That'll be $5.85. I've only got 16 cents. Get the rest from your tip jar. It's on me. Where do you get all your money? Don't worry about it. Then can I borrow 50 bucks? I need a new pair of mole pants. One slice of hot pizza. And we'll see just how hot. What are you doing? What's this? You just got served. You're suing me? On behalf of my client. Who is Samuel Rosenbaum? Our next door neighbor, Sam. Yosemite? He wants me to pay him a million dollars because my pizza's hot? It's supposed to be hot. Blow on it. It's just business. Nothing personal. Okay. Then you just got unserved. I'll see you in court. You're not a lawyer. Tell it to the judge. 